So here's your first clue. The first question asked how Mendeleev organized his periodic table and how the modern one is organized instead. The answer to those questions is found in the first uh, paragraph of your notes. The second one asks about, and the third one asks about periods and groups. A period on the periodic table is a row. Think about if you're hoeing a row of vegetables, it's a really long row. Which way is longer? Oh, side to side. So these are rows. Start at the top and you'll count one, two, three, etc. But don't count the bottom two rows because they actually belong up here. Uh, 57, 58, see they ought to squeeze right there. So don't actually count these when you count your rows or periods. When it comes to groups, columns, or families, those are uh, the up and down vertical columns. Remember columns on a building go up and down. Uh, groups have things in common and families have things in common. And so these elements have similar properties. And when you count your groups, just go one, two, three, and just keep on counting all the way to the end.